Gone Girl is the best movie to watch on date night ever. I promise that the experience is going to be so satisfying that it's going to make your date feel wonderful. <laughs> you serious? Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Gone Girl. <laughs> uh, first of all, I just want to say whoever made this poster, seriously, huge respect. I love this poster. I kind of saw this coming, but <laughs> all I'm going to say is that one of the best fan made posters I've ever seen, period, and I just had to share it in this movie review. Gone Girl is directed by David Fincher. It's based off of the novel with the same title from author Gillian Flynn. And Gillian Flynn also wrote the screenplay for the movie itself, which I find really cool. It stars Ben Affleck, Rosemond Pike, Neil Patrick Harris, and Tyler Perry. So Gone Girl is a movie that I don't want to go into too much detail. All I'm going to say is that Rosemond Pike's character Amy goes missing and that Ben Affleck is to blame for him maybe or not killing his own wife. There's a lot more to this movie. I promise I did not spoil a single thing. There's a lot more to this movie than you would think. So Gone Girl is one of my most anticipated movies of this year. I could couldn't wait to see this film and also because I really do like David Fincher. I was really excited to see this film because you had a great cast, you had a great director, and the premise alone just looked really interesting. And now that I've seen Gone Girl, I am so happy to say this movie was very satisfying and almost every level. The thing about Gone Girl is that this is two and a half hours long. And The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, it's uh, about the same running time except maybe a little longer than Gone Girl. And all I'm going to say right off the bat is that this movie flew by. Despite the fact it's two hours and 30 minutes long, I never felt a single moment of the movie dragging. I never felt it being long at all because the movie always kept my attention. And I'm not saying I didn't think The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo was bad, it's just that I got really bored a lot of times watching that movie and just didn't find myself very interested. Whereas Gone Girl, on the other hand, made me fully engrossed in what was going on in the overall storytelling. Cinematography looks fucking phenomenal. This is one of the best looking David Fincher movies I've ever seen and it's kind of saying something since all of his movies do look really good. David Fincher of course does a great job directing this movie. I loved his camera style. He has this, this sleek style to just get you interest in the movie and I really appreciate that about the man for doing that. The performances are all great. Ben Affleck is great, Neil Patrick Harris is great, and Tyler Perry who I believe it or not have always liked. I thought he was great in the film too but Roseman Pike Wow! <laughs> okay, yeah. Roseman Pike was fucking fantastic. I always thought she was a great actress, but she seriously blew my fucking mind with her performance. And I'm not gonna really go out of my way and say she's a standout. You know, all the actors have their roles. All the actors do a great job in their own way, but out of all the roles though, her role did seem the most challenging and she just really went for it. So if she gets a nomination at the Oscars, I wouldn't be surprised and I actually hope she does because of how challenging this role was, she seriously deserves that nomination. Ben Affleck does do a really good job in this film and his character overall was very interesting. I don't really want to go into details because there is so many to process during the whole running time of Gone Girl, but I just want to leave it at that. Another one is this police officer 
I thought she did a really good job. Also did like the actress that played Ben Affleck's sister. You could tell despite all the situations they're going through that she is always with Ben Affleck's character and I really appreciate that and I found her character just overall to be very likable. Neil Patrick Harris, you know, he's not in the film too much, but for what role he had, it was interesting and I actually thought he made his character work being this creepy guy, but he really pulled it off very well. And for Tyler Perry, like I said, I've always liked Tyler Perry. I was never a fan of his movies. I, uh, you know, I honestly prefer to see the guy act rather than making his own movies, but I'm not gonna say he should stop. He obviously has a passion for his movies and if that's what he wants to do, continue to do that Tyler Perry. Uh, I always have liked Tyler Perry. Not his movies per se, but I have always, you know, just liked the actor and he shows why I do like him. He has a lot of charisma. His character is a little bit of the comic relief. He had that nice subtlety of sprinkles of drama to his character, but for the most part, his character adds comedy and at the right moments. And just where the storyline was going was very intriguing. I liked the atmosphere that David Fincher created to get an audience member like me to be just really engrossed by what's happening. The soundtrack for this movie too is breathtaking. It's one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard this year. Uh, any scene that they would be playing the main score of the movie, it fit perfectly. Now I do have a few flaws with Gone Girl and one of the flaws is that I did see most of the stuff coming, like most of the surprises people are all like, oh, I didn't see that coming. I would be like, I saw that coming. Now, there were a few times where I'm all like, oh, that's clever. But there was really only one moment where a scene shocked me. Not surprised me because I kind of saw it coming, but without spoiling anything, it's the most bloodiest scene you're going to see in Gone Girl. Definitely the most disturbing. And that's all I'm going to put it that way. I was still engrossed even with me seeing things coming, but I just wish the whole mystery wasn't too convenient. It took me about maybe 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes of this movie to get used to the editing style. And I did feel like the pacing of the movie did feel a little too quick when it started. And personally, I do think the final 10 minutes did lose its steam for me. I was never bored with the final 10 minutes. I was actually still interested in it, believe it or not. But it just didn't compare to what I saw from the rest of the movie. Yeah, the ending was really weird. I don't hate the ending. Definitely not the worst ending I've seen. I actually admire and I credit the ending. It was just a little off to me. Let's just say that. It was just kind of like, huh? That's how it's ending? I still think Gone Girl is an outstanding movie. Data Fincher's direction is really great. Acting is great, performances, pacing, the writing, the dialogue, the score. Almost everything about this movie was just very well done. And it got me so into the atmosphere big time. And even if I did see most of the surprises coming, I was still always interested in the movie because of how well written and how well directed it was. And that's why I'm going to give Gone Girl an outstanding Three and a half out of four stars. I really liked this movie. It was definitely highly engrossing. Was never bored throughout the two hour and 30 minute running time. It was just a movie that made me think about a lot ever since. And that's the best thing a movie could do to you when you leave the theater. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!